Let's talk about Nikon Snapbridge. Snapbridge is an app that has been out for a while now from Nikon that helps create some additional functionality between your camera and your mobile device um, through Bluetooth and wireless. So what does it do? It can do a few things. So firstly, it gives you the ability once connected to upload photos straight from your camera to your device. And also it has a capability of some remote photography as well. So you can release your shutter speed and et cetera like that. But before we get stuck into that, I will take you through just how to connect to Snapbridge because it can be a little bit frustrating that initial pairing um, and then we'll go from there. Have your phone and your camera together on and on your phone, go over to settings and make sure your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth are on. Then move over to the Snapbridge app, open that up and you wanna connect to camera. This is where you pick your camera that is compatible for Snapbridge. So for me, it's the Nikon Z6. And then you wanna make sure that you're pairing on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Over on your setup menu, make sure you're connected to smart device and you wanna pair via Bluetooth and then press start pairing. You'll see the codes come up, the corresponding so on your phone, just pick the uh, camera Z6 or whatever it is, number that it is and this is where it's uh, going to connect. Now don't be scared here, it takes about a good 30 seconds or it did in my situation for it to come up. So just wait for that. Select your Z6 or whatever camera it is, this accessory, you wanna then pair it. And the trick here is once it's done is you've got to press okay on your camera as well to um, complete the pairing. And that's everything and you should be ready to go. Okay, so now you've got it paired. So now you have the ability to upload images straight from your camera to your mobile device. But also what I really use it for is for remote photography. Now, I do a lot of landscape images, so I do not want to touch my camera when it's on the tripod. The minimal touching of the camera, the better. So Snapbridge is a really good um, application to use for that. It's really good for the fact that you can change a number of settings via your phone and not have to do it on your camera. Things like your shutter speed, your ISO, your aperture and white balance are all available on your mobile device rather than your camera, which is a really, really handy feature if you do not want to touch your camera um, through landscape photography. And indeed, if you're looking to do some remote photography at a, an event and you want to be in the picture, this is a great function and feature to have as well. Some of the things that um, it's quite little idiosyncrasies is the bulb feature. So if you're really into your ultra long photography, longer than 30 second exposures, it does have a bulb feature on here where you can control and adjust um, your shutter speed manually longer than 30 seconds. What you just have to do on this occasion though, it, you have to do that through the initial camera first. So you set it to bulb first and then you can control it via app. Other than that, you've got the full range of shutter speeds in on the app as well. Just be aware that when you're using the app, you will lose your live view on your camera. So that's not um, something wrong with your camera. It's just what happens with um, Nikon Snapbridge when you've got it connected and joined together. Okay, so what are my thoughts on Snapbridge? What are the pros and cons? So let's start with the cons first. Like I mentioned before, it can be a little bit frustrating with the initial pairing of your phone uh, to your camera. But once you get through that, the connection is fairly stable. The other con is, is that it only gives you the ability to upload two meg JPEGs up to your phone. So I don't know any photographer who would realistically use a two meg JPEG for anything. Um, so that's quite frustrating. I would love to have a feature where you could get some other alternative format or a bigger file. That would be great. Um, you know, a small raw type of format would be great if we could upload, especially those, those who have um, Lightroom Mobile on their phone. If you could upload a small raw, then edit on your mobile device through Lightroom, that would be a really, really amazing feature. Interestingly, I found that um, it, Snapbridge does not orientate to a portrait format. So your images on your phone are sideways. Uh, while it's through Snapbridge. So that's a little bit of annoying feature there, but um, if they could change that functionality. Also a histogram would be good. 
Um, a lot of photographers use histogram, but you cannot see it on SnapBridge at all. There is no histogram. And then probably just a little nitpicky thing for me, um, I would love some Apple Watch functionality. Now it doesn't have to be anything really special, even if it's just a remote shutter release through Apple Watch, that'd be great. You know, when I'm out and about, if I am taking photos for landscapes, I'd like to have my hands as free as possible. So rather than holding a phone, if I could just push, you know, a button on my Apple Watch to release the shutter, I think that would be really, really good as well. Okay, so let's talk about the pros now. Well, SnapBridge is a quite stable connection. I haven't really found it ever losing connection with my camera um, throughout some sessions that I've used it in. So it's good that it's nice and stable. I also like the fact that um, when you're using SnapBridge, as you adjust your exposure settings and etc. on the app, it actually adjusts your picture and through live view, you know, it will reduce the exposure, it will increase the exposure as you're changing the settings on there. So it does do that. So even though it doesn't have a histogram, you can see what it's doing to the image as you're closing, um, as you're doing all the adjustments as well. And finally, what I really like is you can actually adjust your focus point um, through the app as well. So you just point your finger on the image where you wanna focus and the camera will focus. So overall, I'll be using SnapBridge um, and I have been for a little while now. Um, you know, I've tried remote shutter releases over the years and gone through heaps of them but um, you always carry your phone around. So once it's paired, I think it's a really good feature and option to have, um, especially for that remote photography option. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Um, see you later, bye.